I've talked to kids this summer at a center here in Columbia. They themselves literally said, I don't feel like I have a choice because my mother and my father doesn't. Bring it out. And they're making me do it. And if I don't do it, I get scolded. How does that child then have a choice? Right. You see what I'm saying? They don't feel like they got a choice because their parents don't do what God says. So they grow up not knowing any better. Right. They really do. Some of our people do choose. Some of our people really feel like they don't have a choice, though, sis. We can't turn our back on everybody when God didn't turn his back on us because all of us deserve to die, am I right? All of us have sinned before, am I right? right. You broke the Sabbath before most of your life. What was supposed to have been the judgment? Sabbath is on Sabbath. Yes, and you go to church on Sunday most of your life. Yeah, now, I couldn't control that part. Right. Now, wait, wait. How come you couldn't? Because I was a child. Wait a minute. What, but all these other kids out here feel that way about the streets. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men that stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's going to rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this truth. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready. We coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel, united in Christ, is a non-violent, violent, violent faith movement. IUIC. And everything you're saying, y'all can come up because I she actually made a good point. Because the question that she was asking is, Do we have a solution for why our communities or how to stop the murder and things, the black on black crime? Because she said that most that some black people are actually worse to their own people than white people are worse to black people. What do y'all say about that? Y'all agree? I agree with that statement. So then, so how do we fix it? Is the question and is the Bible the answer? Not just, I mean, yes, but no. Why you say no? Because. Well, why you say you, yes and then no? Yes, because people still out here like me. Okay. But no, because the youth not trying to hear that. Okay. They're not, I used to be afraid to disrespect God. I've never used a curse word a day in my life. All right. You understand what I'm I saying? I do, I do. I was in church but I do, I do think, but I do think you've been taught the Bible wrong all your life. Uh, well, I, grow, I can't help how I grow up. I right. grow up metal, right. you know? Yes, I, I now, can't control that. Do we have that sign with us? <laughs> yes, do we right. have that sign with us? I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Uh, yeah, I get it. I because, mean, because I'm going to show you why I'm going to run off. All of this goes together as to why our neighborhood is the way it is. Because if we're taught, what were we taught as children on what Jesus looked like? 
I was told he was black. All right, you was told he was black. Okay, I wasn't. Most of our people don't know he's black. They, they thought he, they thought he looked like that. So then who would they hate if they don't believe he's black? Yeah, if they believe Jesus and his people are white people, who would black people grow up to hate? Their own. Themselves. That is how we turned into who we are today. Because these religions, you have your Pentecostal, you have your Mormon, Baptist, all these people who are all no, Methodist is on her. Methodist, every Christian church starts from which? Which church? The Catholic Catholic. All Sunday worship starts on Catholic. That's fine. That's fine. We good. Because so everybody, everybody's not going to agree with what we read. So we're going to show you. So he read that we do so these I things. agree with your teaching right, so because we, it's coming straight from right. the Bible. And that is actually but I don't the think, answer. But the only issue that I have is that I, I don't like that the only focus is, you know, the white people. Nope. No, it's the whole thing. It's community. not just white people. It's, so that's it's, what watch, I Watch, I'll prove it to you. At. Now, we're going to read it again, what he just read. But I want you to listen to what it says, okay. all right? Let's go back to Hosea again. I want you to listen to what the Bible says because it didn't say that white people were the reason that it happened. It did not say that. So watch this. Let's read it again. Read that same verse again. The book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Who was God talking to? The children of Israel. It's okay. Focus with us. Stay with us. Turn the speaker this way more. That way. Because I wanted to hear it because she got great questions. These are great questions that everybody needs to know the answer to. But everybody ain't got the courage enough to say anything. But you do. So all praises. Read it again. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Who was he talking to? The children of Israel. Go ahead. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So he has an issue with us. He didn't say with everybody. With us. Because we are the inhabitants of the land. Well, in this land, you got everybody. But we are the only ones that was giving God's laws to keep. Right. Everybody else was not giving God's laws to keep. So thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. We are the ones that should apply it to ourselves. But let's read and see what we do not do. And let's see the judgment for what we don't do, what God said he'll do to us. Go ahead. Because there is no truth, nor mercy. So there is no truth. Our people hate the truth. Right. The truth is, if you go out here and have a baby or sleep around, you're going to get AIDS and have babies outside of wedlock, all of that, and then child support in prison and jail the pipeline is created because of it. People hate the truth, but that is the truth of our actions. We have created that we've helped build this whole thing against ourselves because we won't do what God said. Go ahead. No mercy. We don't have mercy against our people. A white person can shoot us down. Why nobody go and retaliate? Now, we're not saying we should. But why don't people do that? But if in the neighborhood, we have gangs. If we shoot one black brother, why does the other gang then go and retaliate and shoot the other black brothers? Because we have no mercy against each other. Go ahead. No knowledge of God in the land. We don't know God. Go ahead. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. So we lie, steal, kill to each other. White man pull us over, we'll tell him everything we got. We'll tell them all our business. But as black men, black people pull up, mind your business. That's what we say. Why we don't tell the white people, mind their business? Huh? That is because we're afraid. Now, we're going to read on down. Keep going. They break out and blood touches blood. You have black on black crime. Blood touches blood. Therefore. They said, therefore, meaning because of this, because y'all do these things that we just read. Watch this. Shall the land mourn and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beast of the field. So what's going to happen? No, where are you at again? Go back up. Where are you at again? Blood touch your blood. Now jump to four. Watch this. No, no, no. I want verse five. Six. Watch this. We'll jump down. Six now. Hosea chapter four and verse six. No, keep reading. Just read where you was at. Just keep reading three. We're going to read down so you'll understand the context. This whole Bible tells us it's our fault. Go ahead. Therefore shall the land mourn and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish uh -huh. with the beast of the field uh -huh. and with the fowls of heaven. Uh -huh. Yea, the fish of the sea shall also be taken away. Because we had all resources we was in our homeland. Okay, so yes, ma'am. So yeah. yeah. Okay. That includes E. Yeah. Okay. So this right here says, this right here says that all our resources will be taken away. 
the land that we live on, even a fish in the sea. We can't go fish for free now. They have seasons where you can catch certain type of fish now. We can't get what we want. But God actually gave it to us once before, but because of our sins, he took it away and the land is in mourning. Go ahead. Yet, let no man strive, nor approve another. Now we don't have nobody correcting each other no more. Now black people are afraid to correct other black people. That's why now we'll have, we'll have our children out here in gangs because our oldest are afraid to correct them. They are scared now. God said, let them be moved out of the way because no one's going to correct nobody no more. You have women that are in their 50s and 60s going to club with their daughters and stuff now. And granddaughters. Because nobody wants to correct nobody. Go ahead. For thy people are as they strive with the priest. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day. Uh -huh. And the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night. Uh -huh. And I will destroy thy mother. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed. For lack of knowledge. So because we sin, we're destroyed for the lack of knowledge? Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So because we reject God, he said he is going to reject us. That's the judgment for not doing what God said. We believe that God is all loving all the time. Because that's what we say though. That's what they, they even said in Methodist Church. God is good all the time. All the time God is good. But this right here says, if you disobey God, I, he, will then turn away from us. Go ahead. Thou shalt be no priest to thee, uh -huh. seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. So because we forgot the laws of God? I will also forget thy children. You'll also forget who? Thy children. Thy who? Thy children. Go ahead. As they were increased. No, you, uh -huh. Go ahead. So they sinned against me. So it said, as they were increased, so they sinned. So the more kids we have, the more sin we have. So God said, you know what? I'm going to reject you and your child. So all the murders that's going on that you had, you said on your phone, the boom, the boom, the back to back, quadruple murders. God did that because of us parents are in sin. So he said, I'm going to kill you and your kids. We don't believe that's written in the Bible when we just read it, though. That is because on Sunday worship, every Sunday church do not read that. Well, that's what I was, and I didn't mean it. That is why we say this is the answer. But, but that's why I was saying that I do myself yes. from this type of stuff. All pray. I don't feel like these are my people. So if well, I, they are. That, I, well, I don't feel like they are. No, we are. Well, because if, if they... They might, they, the, 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 the I say might seem like they're my people, and eight. but uh -huh. I'm not, I don't feel like we supposed to, you know, be together. Yes. Not harm each other, not kill each other. That is correct, but the reason why we don't do it is because we don't know God. Well, so but then I how... Don't be around that, though. I don't like now, it. now watch, now I understand you don't want to be around no. the danger and things like that. I get that. None of us do. Not even the people that's in it really, a lot of them, they didn't volunteer to be there. They didn't volunteer. A lot of people grew up that way and they feel like they don't have no other choice. But they feel like they don't because if they're children and they don't. I've talked to multiple children. What's your name, man? Sicily. I've talked to kids this summer at a center here in Columbia. They themselves literally said, I don't feel like I have a choice because my mother and my father doesn't. Bring it out. And they're making me do it. And if I don't do it, I get scolded. How does that child then have a choice? Right. You see what I'm saying? They don't feel like they got a choice because their parents don't do what God says. So they grow up not knowing any better. Right. They really do. Some of our people do choose. Some of our people really feel like they don't have a choice, though, sis. We can't turn our back on everybody when God didn't turn his back on us because all of us deserve to die, am I right? All of us have sinned before, am I right? You broke the Sabbath before most of your life. What was supposed to have been the judgment? Yes, and you go to church on Sunday most of your life. Yeah, now, I couldn't control that part. Right. Now, wait, wait, how come you couldn't? Because I was a child. Wait a minute, what, but all these other kids out here feel that way about the streets. You see how hypocritical we are. Nah, I, I 
You see what I'm saying? And I'm not bashing you. I just want you to understand where they're coming from. Yeah. How you doing, brother? But yes, I want you to understand that even though you grew up a certain way, but some of our children, even my brothers and sisters, myself grew up like that. We don't do that no more because the Bible is the answer. So when you say yes and no, no, the Bible is the answer. It's the only book and only thing that's going to guide us to the proper way to live and the way we deal with each other. No one else can do it. Right. Nothing else can do it because God said if he turn, if we turn our back on him, he's going to turn our back, his back on us, right? Now watch this. Hold where you at. Go to uh, uh, Hosea 5.15. Because let's see why these things happen. Is there a reason why God allow it all to happen? Yeah. Why? Because I'm asking him to. I want to get his answer to it. It's terrible. But why though? Why does God allow our people to get killed in the street and things like that? Why does he allow that? Why does he allow it though? But they ain't God. They not God. The no. kids ain't. No. But God the Father does allow it. Am I right? No. They okay. That's wrong. No, I get it. They choosing to do it, but why does God allow it to happen? God, God is trying to do things, but it ain't God. It's Satan the devil. Okay. Now, does Satan kill anybody that God that's, doesn't give him permission right. to do? That's right. What do you say? He said yes. What do you say? Uh, I, I don't feel like Satan has that kind of control. All praises. He doesn't. Let's read that. You know what I want? Where is that? Is it Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 32, 39. 32. Deuteronomy 32, where God said, I kill and I make a lie. So the devil ain't killed nobody he ain't gave permission to. So that means everybody that did, God did it. We say Satan did it. No, God allowed it to happen. You got what I want? Read that. Watch this. We're reading the Bible. You're going off of what people say. We're going off what I'm God going, said. I'm going the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, and verse 39. See now that I, even I, am and, he, uh -huh. and there is no God with me. Hey, bro, let her listen. Okay. Listen to the Bible. I kill, and I make a lie. So God said he kills. Right. And he makes a lie. Right, right. So God ain't so so everybody that died, God did. That's why he saved Noah no and his family. There you go. Cause so all them people, God killed them all. Cause it was pregnant women back then. It was little babies back then. And God drowned them all. Except eight people. And we headed for another one. And we headed for another one. But this one gonna be with fire though. But this one gonna be with fire. You are hundred percent right. Go ahead. I wound. And I heal. So even the injured and the well, God does that too. Go ahead. Neither there any that can deliver out of my hand. Because nobody can deliver themselves out of God's hand. Once he say it's your time, that's it. Can't nobody stop that from happening. So now, let's go back to Hosea 5.15. This is why these things are happening like you was talking about. There is a reason. God wrote the reason why he allows it. Go ahead. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Go ahead. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. So God used to walk with us. That's when we read in Genesis. He was literally dealing with us. And then it said, I'm not going to be with them no more because they want to sin then. So then he said, he's going to go and return to his place until we acknowledge our offense. Everybody that goes to Sunday have to say, I've broken the Sabbath. Every woman that wears pants, I have to say, I dress outside of the order that God told me to dress. Every man that's walking around here with dresses and think that crap is cool, got to apologize to God for that. Because until we acknowledge what we're doing wrong, he said he's going to turn his back on us. Go ahead and seek my face in their affliction. Where do we seek God's face? How do we learn about God? Where? He's holding the only thing that can teach you about God, the Bible. Go ahead. In their affliction, they will seek me early. In our what? In my, their affliction, they will seek me early. So as we get punished as a people, then we'll say, why God? I'm not going to say why. No, oh, yeah, you do. You That's why you, you asked it already. You said, why is it happening? No, no, I why are we talking? talking we got to talk God. about black people because black people are worse. Why is that happening? That is what you're saying but is I'm not, why. I'm not asking God why. I'm asking y'all. Yes, but who do you, who do you think? God. Now watch. Who do you think we are? I mean, you're his people. We're his what? His people, right? His people. Okay, go to go to go to uh, go to Jeremiah three fifteen. I'm gonna show you. Yes, we are his people, but we his prophets though. Bring it out. And y'all would ask the prophets of God why 
and it's our job to give you the answer why because God ain't going to beam the knowledge into your head. He's going to give you prophets like he's always done through the whole Bible to teach you exactly why and what he wants you to do to fix it. Right. He ain't giving it to you no other way. That's how we, the Bible always did it. So whenever we say that, oh, well, hey, no, we're not regular men up here talking. Because pastors don't come do what we do, do they? But ain't, ain't it a commandment in the Bible that the prophets would do it? Huh, so who are we? We the prophets like we about to read. Go ahead. The book of Jeremiah, <laughs> chapter 3, and verse 15. Go ahead. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. So God has pastors, Satan does too. But God said, I'm going to give you those that are according to his heart. Why do you read about the mind of God? Where do you read about what God has planned? Where do you read about the prophecies that got to come to pass? What, what do you read? He's reading it now. The Bible. Because our slavery was written thousands of years before it happened. Then it happened. Our people did not believe God. Now we're the children of the people that did not believe what God was going to do to us. We are the children of those people now. And it's crazy how today they didn't call us Israelites today. They called us African American, Negro, Mexican, Indians, and all these different names. To let us not call ourselves by Israel but now we have people today that can prove we the Israelites we can prove where we going we can prove how it all happened how in the world does that happen when you cut us off from reading for hundreds of years because God said in the last days like you said we're very close the last days there will be people standing on the corners teaching the Bible as it is written in the worst neighborhoods where our people live not the pastors. And we're going to show you. Go ahead. And we're going to deal with why our people don't want to hear the truth. Because you mentioned that earlier. The Bible actually says that's how we would be. And we still got to go to them. So when you say, I don't want to be around it. I understand it. But God said, we got to go do it. <laughs> I can't turn my back on my people. I love my people. Look, if you love your people, you're not going to turn your back on your people. All of the revolutionaries and women. Harriet Tubman, did she love her people? Then she tried to lead them to freedom. But those that did not want to listen, she left them. But she did go to them first. See what I'm saying? So she didn't turn her back on the people. But those that didn't want to follow the, the instruction to get free, she had to cut them loose. I have the ones that want Oh, praise. That's good. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure we can't turn our back on our people. I just want you to understand that. That's all. That's all. I do. I'm, I'm a guardian in that life. So oh, praise. I'm definitely not turning my back on my Oh, praise. That's good. Because I just want to make sure that you don't have that mindset to turn on. Because there's going to be there's gonna be women. That, like the Bible says, there's going to be women that come out of all walks of life. True. They're going to need, the, the scriptures say, for the older women to teach the younger women how to follow God. How to love their children. Love their husband. Well, love their husband was first. Then love their children, because right now black women believe they're supposed to love their yeah, children have, over their kids. If, if the, the children going to leave. Because if the husband and wife is not of like mind, the children are destroyed. Absolutely. Them, so, yeah, Absolutely. No, no, no. I want what I told you to get. That's it. Read on. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which will, shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Because God's pastors are going to teach the truth, the knowledge and understanding of the Bible. Go to Isaiah 30 now. Let's see. I'm going to prove it to you that our people want to hear lies. Our people would rather hear somebody lie to them than tell them the truth like you said. They are chocolate covered white people. You said black people are like white people. I agree. Because some of our people are chocolate covered Edomites. Absolutely. But we did not sell ourselves to white people. That part you was wrong. No, I'm not wrong about that. You sure? I'm, I, 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 now, I'm, what if we read it out of the name, Bible? What did you say? His name was Charles. I can't remember his last name. Mm -hmm. But he definitely was the first black What name. year was that? I can't remember. Lord, do, okay, I'm, I'm just going to pull it up. Let's go. Now, we're going to read this right here about our people wanting to hear the lies. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Now, go write it before them in a table. And note it in a book uh -huh. that it may be for time to come forever and ever. So this was written for our time today. Read on down. Now watch this, Sicily. Watch this. That this is a rebellious people, uh -huh. lying children, uh -huh. children that will not 
hear the law of the Lord. Because that's how God said we are. We are rebellious people to God. We don't want to do what God said. Go ahead. Which say to the seers. We'll say to the seers, which are the prophets, the judges. This is what our people say to the prophets that teach the truth. Go ahead. See not. And to the prophets, prophesy not. So it says, see not and prophesy not. Look, do not point out my sin. Do not point out the things that are wrong. Do not, hey, close your eyes because I'm going to do my evil and I don't want nobody to correct me. That's our people. Go ahead. Prophesy not unto us right things. Don't tell us the truth. Prophesy not unto us right things. Do not tell me the right way to go. Go ahead. Speak unto us smooth things. Uh -huh. Prophesy deceit. Instead of speaking the truth, because the truth hurts, be smooth. That's why you got ha on Sunday. That's why you got is your season ha on Sunday. God is going to bless you ha, but he ain't telling you do what he said. Because to do what he said means you cannot come as you are because that's not written in the Bible. But the Bible says our people will prefer that speech than the truth. That is why all Sunday churches exist in the first place right now. It's because our people, we understand this happened. We understand that happened. We understand all of these started while we were still in slavery. We get it. But why do we still follow their doctrine then if we want the truth? Well, I follow Pastor Gino Jennings. And that's a lie. Gino Jennings? Gino, Gino Jennings said it's a curse for your skin to be black. He doesn't even believe Jesus is a black man. He himself does not. He went against us literally on a clip right out of there. <laughs> in his own sermon, right. he said Jesus ain't black. But you grew up in a Methodist church and learned he was black. Then you went to follow Gino Jennings, and I now you're saying he's different. Say that. that is because you're not really following him. That's just what you said. Because if you followed him, you'd have heard that. Because right. he has a church right here in Columbia. I know it was just in my... Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's and that church, and that is all lies. Because y'all still going to church on Sunday when God says Saturday. No, no, I haven't joined the church yet now. But you've been going. I watch them online. Listen, why would you follow somebody that will not so read that last part of Isaiah 30 again? I want you to understand what we want. Everything's not read it again. we say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. It sounds smooth when he talks. Right. It's very smooth. But why don't he say, quit coming to see us? Hey, we're not coming on Sunday no more. We're going to come on Saturday now. Because the Bible says Saturday. Let's do. Let's follow that. Why don't he say that? Because that won't sound good to the masses. Yeah, I, Everybody get up and leave. I don't know what, what, like, what, what type of church do y'all have? Well, our name, the organization, <laughs> Israel United in Christ. Right. We meet on 1823 Greg Street right here in Columbia. And why won't he... The, he's out, actually challenged us with the Bible before. He challenges everybody. And our bishop showed up and he didn't come outside. Right. What? Because he don't know the Bible. Right. Like he claims because we're going to put everybody on spot. You have to do what it says. Wait, 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 wait. wait. When you say he don't know All the Bible. All praises. Put it up on your phone where we went to Gino Jenny's church. And actually pull up where he said that Jesus Christ is not black. We have the we have the proof, sis. I, I know, but when you say he don't know the Bible, absolutely. Do you mean like the, the true understanding? Correct. Because the man knows the Bible. No. In the sense of reading the Bible. Okay. Right. Okay. So does that mean you know the Bible if you don't well, give the true well, understanding? Well, the first statement that I made was correct. Okay. That, he does not like, know the Bible. Like how y'all perceive that it's supposed to be correct. Absolutely. How God perceives it. It's not more than one interpretation okay, so of the Bible. He has one white woman uh -huh. that sits in the front row. Of the congregation. Right? Uh-huh. Only one. Only one. You know who I'm talking I about, I don't know right? her name. I don't know. But, but you know I don't follow him, so I don't know. But I'm I'm like, so he has a but, white woman sitting in the congregation. What is, I mean? In the front row. But, but how do you feel about it? How do we feel about it? You want us to read how God feels about it? All praises to the Most High. Uh, let's get, hmm, let's get how God feels about Esau. Let's read that. Romans chapter 9 in the New Testament. Let's see. Let's see. You, I'm not going to tell you how I feel. I'm going to tell you how God feels about it. Do you know white people are Edomites? Do you know that? I do know that. You do know that. Okay, so you know that. Okay, let's read that. 
Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. That's the Israelites, right? Jacob, Jacob is the Israelites. No worry. Don't worry about what he's talking about. He's trying to distract you from the Bible. Ask about Adam and Eve. Yeah. All praise. He can ask, she can ask about Adam and Eve. They were black. There was a black man and a black woman. There you go. So now, this right here says, this right here says, this right here says, listen, 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 listen. You see how you, you see how, you see how he, don't, why he don't want, to, he don't know. If he knew, he would be doing what the Bible said. Just like every other pastor. You see what I'm saying? I'm finna read who he is. Hold that. Let's go to Mark. Watch. I'm finna read who he is, sis. Sis, watch. Watch this, no. sis. Watch this, sis. No. Watch what the Bible say about his spirit. Go ahead. Mark chapter 4, verse 14. Uh -huh. The Amen sower soweth the word. Are we Amen sowing that. the word unto you? Aren't we teaching you right now? Yeah. Are we teaching? Go ahead. And these are they down. by the wayside. You are by the wayside. You're standing by the wayside. You don't have the understanding of the Bible. We're trying to teach it to you. Go ahead. Well, the word is sown. Uh -huh. But when they have heard. When you start to hear the truth. Satan. Come in immediately. Who comes immediately? Satan. Come in immediately. It's kind of funny how the devil was standing here just waiting to interrupt you when the truth start coming out. That's a shame. The Bible said that would happen. <laughs> the Bible said the devil would come. Now let's go back to Romans. Let's see how God feels about Esau. She understands that Esau is the so-called white man. He got a so-called white woman in the congregation. Wow. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. Uh -huh. As it is written. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. How does God feel about Esau, which is Edom? Okay, so if God hates him. Now, let's go to, is it Ezra 4? But Esau did a lot. Watch this. Now, I'm going to show you what our forefathers did when the other nations tried to come and help us build our temple to worship our God with us. Let's see if our forefathers said, you know what, you're welcome. Come with us. Let's see. Let's see, because right now, are we are we really are we trying to rebuild our people now? No. Yeah, we are. I, I why do you why do you think we out here on the street I mean, talking to you, like sister? Okay, yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because you didn't see this before. I'm a hush. Right. This wasn't happening before. So let's read and see what our forefathers did when the other nations tried to come worship and help us build our 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 temple back now. Because now we're the temple. The body is the temple. Right. Go on verse two. Read verse two. Verse two. Then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers uh -huh. and said unto them, Let us build with you, for we seek your God. So these other nations seek our God. They said, Listen, Zerubbabel and leaders of Israel, we seek your God. We want to worship your God with you. Go ahead. As ye do. So we want to worship the same way you worship your God. We want to worship right there next to you. Go ahead. And we do sacrifice unto him. Uh -huh. Since the days of Esarhaddon, uh -huh. king of Assur, uh -huh. which brought us up hither. So look, we want to sacrifice like y'all got to sacrifice to God. We want to sacrifice to your God too. We want to build with y'all. We want to congregate and be next to y'all. Let's see what our forefathers said. Go ahead. But Zerubbabel and Joshua and the rest of the chiefs of the fathers of Israel. So the leaders of Israel said what? Said unto them, ye have nothing to do with us. Wait, they have what? Ye have nothing to do with us. Go ahead. To build a house uh -huh. unto our God. You can't help us build a house to our God. You ain't going to be a part of this. Go ahead. But we ourselves. But who? We ourselves together uh -huh. will build unto the Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of who? Of Israel. Not of white people. So even our forefathers cut them off. So who the heck are we to then go behind that and think we going to do something different? And then we'll say we the prophets of God. You see what I'm saying? Now let's go to Zep Zechariah, Zephaniah 2 and 1. Watch this. Right there. There's one single white lady. She's prostitute. They ain't got nothing to do with her. She don't know. She look, she she's a two-time loser. She's losing now when this is her kingdom. She post this is her kingdom. She can do whatever she wants today. And she can she can come right off the street and do whatever she wants. I got the answer. Can I read this one thing to you before you go? Just this one thing. One thing. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. 
It didn't tell us to gather with everybody. It said gather together, O nation, not desire. We are the undesired by all races. So it didn't tell us to gather with Chinese people, gather with white people. It said, Israel, you gather together. And that's it. Go ahead. Hello? Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the tell, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. So that's what we have to do, sister. I, I, I got but do you understand what we read? I do. So should that woman be in there? According to what we read. No. Oh, according on. to what we read. Now what? I didn't make it up. We read it. So should she be in there? Uh, no. So there you go. Thank so why? So why? So if he knows the Bible, why would he have her in there when God said not to? I, I <laughs> that is because he's not following God, sis. I, I yes, ma'am. Thank you. All. all praise to the most. Did you get a flyer from us? Yes. Okay. Thank Listen, you. we gather on Saturday at four o'clock. Come check it out. The same way you're checking out Gino Jenny to try to see what's going on. Come see what's going on for yourself. You have a modest dress on. You obviously understand how to carry yourself. But your understanding of the Bible has been confused over time. And what you heard today, we read it out of the Bible. Okay? All right, Miss Sicily. Lord's will you come check us out. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 